Hi. <laughs> Last week, I posted a video on five cozy games that aren't farming sims that I'm excited for in 2023. And I asked you guys if you wanted to see a list of farming sims that are coming out in 2023, and you did. So here are five cozy farming sims that I'm excited for in 2023. So obviously these are all farming sims, but they are all unique in their own way. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what makes each of these games unique. I am also adding an honorable mention at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. So let's do this. First, we have a game called Sally. In this game, you play as a kid that lives in a futuristic flying ship that is taken care of by the cutest grandmas as you sail through the skies in order to find a place to call home. This game is like House Moving Castle meets Treasure Planet. Very underrated movie, by the way. <laughs> One of the things that makes this game unique is the world building. I've never seen a farming sim that takes on the futuristic ship crew quite like this. You can fully customize your character, which is always fun. And from what I've seen, the customization is very inclusive, which I love. You help your crewmates reach their aspirations, repair the ship, while you're also finding your calling within the ship crew. You can also develop relationships with the community, cook, farm, craft, and also explore the very stunning world that they've created. It just looks very lovely. <laughs> Next up is a game called Fey Farm. In this game, you play as a fey and you get to craft, cultivate, and decorate around your shared homestead and use spellbinding magic to explore the enchanted island. First of all, this game looks stunning and it's looking up to be a great fantasy take on your regular farming sim. One of the things that especially caught my attention about this game is that you get to uncover the magical lore of the island that you live in and infuse magic into everything that you do. The aesthetic and music of this game makes me feel like I'm going to the Ren Fair, and you can play with up to four players, which is always really fun. Next game is called Ages of Kataria. In this game, you are immersed into a story of an ancient continent and an old civilization that is now in ruins. You rediscover the continent as you settle into it and make it your home. You get to take care of generations of townsfolk in an interesting land that is also populated by interesting mystical creatures. This game has a lot to offer as you get to define the unique story of your town with interactive short stories, villager relationships, and village maintenance. You get to see your townsfolk grow old, fall in love, and pass away. You can decide what resources matter to you, and you can also exchange resources with friends online or NPCs see villages offline and there are also different seasons throughout the year in the game which is always really nice and cozy very cool next up is fluff balls island skies if you're a sucker for cute stuff this is the one for you this is a farming and life sim you live on a floating island where you get to explore and make friends look at the little raccoon it's so cute Anyway, in this game you're also able to customize your character and you can even decorate your own home. You can collect, craft, and explore the land. And it's just so adorable. How I said it's really adorable and cute. Next up, we have a game called Roots of Pacha. Now, did I choose this game because it has the name of my cat in the title? Yes. <laughs> but also, it looks really fun. This farming sim is set in the Stone Age. It's all about surviving and discovering the magical secrets of the land. What I love about this game is the attention to detail. When you explore the wilder nest, you get to meet animals that were alive in the Stone Age. You can also decorate your little Stone Age house with Stone Age designed items, <laughs> which are very cute. It's kind of like Stardew Valley, but set in the Stone Age. And I just think it's very special when a game company commits to a theme like this. And you can also play co-op. And those are all the Fairman things that I'm excited for in 2023. But I do want to give an honorable mention. This isn't a farming sim, but it looks really cute and I just wanted to talk about it. This game is called Tiny Glade. You might have already heard about it because it's very popular on TikTok at the moment. Tiny Glade is a stress-free game about building castles. That's it. You get to build pretty castles. That's all. <laughs> I love the idea of this game because it's just this 
simple. The premise is that you get to just sit down, relax, there's no threads, you just get to be creative. And I love that. And most importantly, <laughs> they are the cutest sheep you get to pet them. I know, I know, I know. Calm down, calm down, calm down. But yes, you get to pet the little sheep. I wish I had this game as a kid because I know this is exactly the kind of game I would have spent just hours and hours, my entire summer break, just building castles and pretending there was no world outside. Simpler times, simpler times. But I have Sims, so I can't really complain too much. Which I did spend most of my time in Sims just building my house, but that's besides the point. If you haven't watched my other list of games, I'm gonna link them for you to watch them. If you want, you don't have to. Also, I wanted to take a tiny little second to just say thank you for the fact that I already have 100 followers on here. I know that I am only a little tiny ant in the world of online creators, but it means a lot to me. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. And thank you for watching this video. Always remember, take care of yourself, drink some water, have some rest, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs>